This is my teammate Bacon Waffles, but he's arguably the worst member on our team. So today I'm teaching Bacon everything I know to make him one of the best. All right, Bacon. Yeah. I'm going to ask you a question, okay? Okay. You have to tell me the real answer. Who's the weakest member of Gucci gang? There's three people on Gucci gang, bro. <laughs> All right. So it's like not even bad. Well, who's the worst player? Okay. But like, who's the worst player on the PFC, you know? I, I actually don't think I could answer that question because I genuinely don't know. It's probably Leo. But anyway, you see, it's not even bad to be the weakest player of a three-part team. Well, you just have to say it. Like, you have to embrace it, bro. But I'm just like, it sort of sounds like you're making it sound bad. No, but it's not a bad thing, because you won't be soon. Maybe you're such a sweat, bro, and you're, you like, used to be a sweat, so like, you kind of, it kind of carries over. No, dude, I'm saying, like, you, you just have to admit it right now. Okay, okay, hold up. 1v1 me, and if you beat me, then I'll admit it. Dude, you ain't winning, bro. Bro, well, I'm gonna do my... What? I'm gonna... <laughs> what happened, bro? I'm gonna do my best, and I'm gonna unlock, bro. Why are you about to cry, bro? <laughs> just doing a little giggling. Wait, do you have someone on your account? No, bro. Are you serious? Bro, I'm not bad. This is not making waffles. This dude actually has never fought, bro. Like, he actually has never keeps the legacy of me. Dude, when did you get so good with webs? Bro, actually, the Weber. Dude, you actually got kind of nasty. I'm not even gonna lie. Bro, this is what I was telling you. You were, like, talking like I was some, like, dog at the, <laughs> at the game and, like, needed your help badly, but I'm not that bad. Like, you're probably, I think you're still better than me, but, like, not by as much as I used to be. Okay. All right, let me lock in now. Let me lock in now. Thing is, you're just so annoying with your little cops, bro. Bro's training me more than I'm training him, dude. Ah, oh, dude. Cobwebs are the most annoying block in the whole game. Oh my god, dude. No way I missed that. Okay. Oh, Jesus. See, that's better, because I thought you were going to be, like, an absolute bot bro okay yeah i know i can tell bro okay well that's good now we have um now we have a starting point yeah we're gonna be practicing three things today movement combat and game sense okay okay so the first one that we're gonna work on is movement so i'm gonna duel you in something that's gonna help you a lot oh my god bro so i i'm not gonna like say anything but i genuinely think i'm the katniss of lifesteal like i'm not even joking wait so are we play we're like playing yeah Oh, frick, dude. Okay. Yeah, so as I said, I genuinely think I'm the Katniss of uh, Lifesteal. Like, as you know, I dogged a kid up with uh, one heart with a bow. <laughs> you are so low. <laughs> what? I'm literally not low. <laughs> okay. What I want you to practice now, I want you to look very closely at my movement. What am I doing that's causing you to miss? Yeah, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot, but I'm not gonna shoot back at you. All right, sometimes I'm aiming just a bit low. Okay. 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 So, I want to teach you about something. When you get into a bow battle, there's rarely going to be any circumstances where you're bow battling someone from 50 meters away. I'm saying when you guys are both in cobwebs or like if you're close. You know what I mean? This is what I call the parrot shuffle. Let's say I jump this way, I shoot. I jump this way, I shoot. I, I jump this way, but then I start moving this way. You see that? Okay. So, so practice that. Okay, so I jump, shoot jump shoot, shoot and then jump and then sh do like that like basically it's like a fake it's like a pump fake if that makes sense so it's like you're going forward you shoot you're going this way you shoot and then another one i have you go forward and then you jump back this way the reason why this works is it's psychology bro you basically create a pattern and then you break the pattern you can either go right or left but when you take your first shot right you usually draw midair like you draw the arrow midair so you're drawing as you jump shoot okay i'm gonna die okay yo another easy win for bacon waffles okay bro it's hard for me to explain it's just something that i just do yeah i can tell it's hard for you to explain so i got like right left or it could be left right and then what you do is whatever side you picked you pretend to go the other side again but instead of going the other side you move a little bit that way and then pivot the other way does that make sense yeah okay okay now leave and duel me in your your lifestyle kit what i want you to do is i only want you to use the bow unless you get really okay. close okay okay I, I just haven't really played that much with harming arrows. I didn't really know that this was the meta, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. Which means you don't really want to do long distance shots. You want to do like- but That's what I'm good at, that's the problem. I mean, you know how to cleanse. 
Okay, are we just fighting now? Uh huh. All right, are we done? That's done with bow movement. After that, we decided to hop onto a Bed Wars practice server so that we could move on to the next skill, movement. Have you ever played this before? Uh, I've seen Prince Sam play. Okay, so this is obstacles. You try to get to the other side as fast as possible. Okay. That's probably not the strat. Yo, I think you might win this round. Our mindset? Bro, what? what? You're not supposed to go to like different places. I guess you gotta go like around. There's like a path they want you to take. Okay, I got it this time. Bro, you are so bad. Bro, I've never played this before. Like, so sometimes the blocks just don't place. Are you just sitting there watching me, bro? Yep. <laughs> okay, run that one back, but I'm gonna give you a 30 second head start. All right, no, now I know what I'm doing, bro. It's actually over for you, okay? All right, 30 second head start. Oh, it's a different map. Okay, well, there goes all my- All right, go ahead. Two, three, And four, you do not need to count, bro. 19, 20? Do you want an extension, bro? No, no, no. Ready or not, here I come. Bro, let me go on the roof, bro. Oh. So oh, okay. You're kind of ahead of me now. Yeah, obviously, I did have a 30 second head start. Like, I'm not going to brag about that. Okay, so I'm not losing right now. I'm actually winning. Yep, you indeed are. Okay. Uh oh. Big waffles bridging time, bro. It was close. It was close. It was close. Bacon, bacon. Oh, I got farther than you, bro. Look at the distance. What? So just for reference, if Minitech was chasing you down, he is not going to give you a 30 second head start. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm good at movement in Minecraft. All right, so how about this? How about this? Fill up your entire inventory with stuff and just give me the same exact thing. And I'm going to give you a 15 second head start and you have to run from me, okay? Okay. I don't know. This isn't like full kit, but... You have 15 seconds. So I'm running? Go ahead. Okay, well... This isn't normal running. Uh, I feel like 15 is too much. I'm just going to head after you right now. Okay, well, so we're just doing running, not like actually escaping. Or should we do actually escaping? No, practice escaping. Okay, you do have quite the head start right now. Yeah, I think it might be over for you. Like, I don't... Chorus fruit is just kind of nasty. Okay. How do you like this terrain, Bacon? It's low-key jungly. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to use the, the stupid strats. Use it, use boring. it. Okay, it's a little too easy with the stupid strats, honestly, sometimes. Oh my god, I know this, this strat is yeah. so dumb. Bro. Where did I go? Oh my gosh! Yeah, now I'm just screwed. I don't have a pickaxe, bro. All right, Bacon. I see how it is. That strat is baloney, bro. Well, it's it's really good, though. If you don't know how to do it, basically, so the ocean was stupid. You don't want to find water caves in the ocean. You really want to go to a river, and then you course route there, or you just get in a cave, and then you you always carry a soak touch pick with you. Okay. I want you to run it back, but this time you're running. Your goal is to not get hit for three minutes, and you get a 10-second head start. Not get hit? Okay, that's stupid. 10 seconds starts in three, two... One, go. You say not get hit for 10, for three minutes? Yep. How am I supposed to not get hit, bro? Bro, if you're good at running, this should be no problem. I've already gained like seven seconds of ground on you, bro. I'm gonna be honest. Do you have speed too? I have the same speed you have. Oh, you are annoying, bro. You are well, annoying. What do you mean, bro? What do you want me to do? You okay, told me to run true. and not get hit. That's true. That's true. You don't mean to alarm you, but the server just saved the game. Mm. At this rate, do you catch up to me in three minutes? It's gonna be tough. Okay. Oh, Where give me them toes, bruh. Oh, I don't really want you to take my toes. Ah! Ah! Bacon! <laughs> Bacon! I don't want you to take my toes! Bacon! Take my toes, bro. You are Yo. so close. Yo! It's over for you, buddy. It's over for bro. you, buddy. Oh bro, my gosh, the my movement! Toes, the movement is insane. <laughs> oh, how long was that? That was three minutes and six seconds. I won! Yeah, I won! You did. Um, look at me, bro. <laughs> Number one runner, bro. Bacon had cleared the movement stage. So we moved on to the final one game sense the first half of this are gonna be fights where you have a serious disadvantage i'm not gonna tell you what to do but okay. you're just gonna have to figure out what to do okay all right fight one take off your helmet you're in a fight your helmet broke this will probably happen a lot okay you can't run off of this platform you have to decide what to do i'm not gonna win this fight i assume i assume you don't expect me to win it no i don't but what what can you do oh my gosh dude okay can i get a water bucket bro i like lost it when i was chasing you actually no match up match up i'm still i'm i'll just fight without a water bucket you know you can uh you can break the the cobble with your, with your sword that's some real game sense right there i know 
Okay. This time, I'll be playing without a helmet and you try to kill me, okay? You lasted 43 seconds. All right, I'm ready. Okay, okay, wait. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, you are pretty good at, at this whole running thing, bro. All right, but low-key, I am running into cobwebs. Shh, okay. There we go, finally, bro. Okay, you want to guess how long that was? Three minutes, 23 seconds. Yeah, how'd you know that? I, uh, exactly? Yeah. Exactly tw three minutes, 23 seconds? Yeah. <laughs> no shot, bro. I'm not joking. I don't, I don't think you're telling the truth here. No, I'm being serious. When you're playing passively, you survive for a lot longer than when you're playing offense. Yeah. You died in 37 seconds, I think. If you managed to stay alive for an extra three minutes, that could have given me or Mapic the opportunity to kill whoever we were fighting against. The point that I'm trying to make, even if you're blitzing all of your resources, it's worth it if you can save extra time. 10 seconds seconds can be the difference between a side winning. Loki also, I feel like I just run. If you run, then you abandon your teammate, okay? If you run, then the fight's over. But sometimes if you run, you can draw away the person. Like you can run strategically. I can see where you're coming from. But I feel like sometimes, a lot of the times it is better than that. And like, think about how much longer I could have lived if I just didn't push you when I cobwebbed you. Yeah, I was at like Loki about to die. Really? Yeah, well, I wasn't paying attention to my gaps. And stuff, oh. so. All right, what is that? Is that, did I complete the, the three stages? No, so this is the last part of Game Sense. Okay, what just happened to you? I was, I teleported to you and I died. So there's fights where you're clearly losing and you have to just play really defensive to save time or run to save time. But then yeah. there's fights where there's extraordinary circumstances. So I want you to clear and put down the kits again. In this scenario, we are going to be going somewhere else. Um, I'm, I'm very interested. Picture this scenario. You're in the end and obviously the dragon's not coming back, but we're gonna be playing in an interesting case. Okay, I'm, okay. This is a lot of withers, man. It is, but as you recall, that's is something that could very well happen. Okay, maybe if Spoke tries to do something crazy again, I guess. All right, you ready? Uh, yeah. Okay, let's run it. So, game sense. What are you trying to do right now? Kill you. I don't know. What's strategic about this? Like, what can you do? Lead you towards the withers, I guess? Yes, but you have to be really careful about something. The boy. No. Do you want eight withers on you? No. Not generally. I don't know why they're not. They're kind of neither of our ops, but they're kind of our... They're, they're just chilling. Okay, wait, wait. Pause for one sec. Pause those. for one sec. You see what happens when you're distracted, bro? Now I'm naked here. Yeah. I don't feel very safe. <laughs> bro, you do always have to be prepared for a thousand gas to appear randomly in the middle of your fight, so I, I get that. No, I'm just saying, bro. Since Bacon cleared the three stages, it was time for the final test. We found a sweaty PvPer, and Bacon was gonna have to fight them while I watched him from above. Nice cob. Okay, Bacon, I see you, bro. I see that movement. Let him drain. Let him drain resources. This kit is so drained that if you have more resources in the end, you just win. Yeah, but I mean, all it takes is like one mistake, one like mess up to get out of a cobweb and you kind of, it can be really hard to get a not die. Just remember what I was doing in that one poison arrow fight. Bro, I'm not going to do that. No, I'm just saying, like, if you're low, you can't be afraid to cobweb spam. What is that? What are you doing, bro? Get your cleansing right, bro. I like this bacon. Let's oh, go, let's bacon! Go. Let's go! We run one more round, you think? Yeah, I say run it. Go bacon. Okay. Bacon! Bacon! Oh my gosh! I think you're winning, you just have to be careful. Yeah, I mean, really, you can get... The thing is, like, you can get quick drop in this game. Yeah. Good oh, stuff, geez. good stuff. All right, you ready for the final duel? Oh, I'm ready. And as we prepare to fight each other for the final duel, Minute Tech, one of the sweatiest players on the server, joined. Yo, Minute Tech's here. Oh, he, oh he my. Replied. Nope. 
No. Nope. I think he brought a friend. Who? I don't know. I told him bring a friend. Say who's the friend. Because, like, I'm not playing if this is, like, mine manner, bro. All right. Yo, who's your All friend, right. bro? So, uh, but, like, once I bring them in, we're going to run, right? Like, we're going to run duels? No, not necessarily. Why not? Because you're definitely going to invite some mega sweat PvP YouTuber. Hello? Hey. Yo. Hey. I'm ready to play some Minecraft. We're in versus 16. I am ready to play some Minecraft. I'm right, in. This was Mine Manor, arguably one of the best players in all of Minecraft. Okay, and it's okay. It's all right, why did I call it, bro? I literally <laughs> called this, bro. Like, you know what? No, no, yo, let's run it. Let's run it. Let's run it. Because, hey, the stakes are low, okay? If we lose, then we lose, okay? And, like, whatever. Like, that's what's expected. If we win, Literally, I got a fire title, crazy. bro. Yeah, if we win, you guys are never hearing the end of this, bro. Are we ready? Are we ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, Bacon, I'm gonna call you. Okay. Bro, what is this they actually like brought a sweat on, dude. Yeah, he actually, dude, he got the sweatiest person he knows, bro. I know, bro. Um, who do you want to take? You want me to take Minute or Mind Manor? Uh, yeah. I lose to Minute Tech, but it takes a sec, so. Okay. Okay, why is, why is Mind Manor kind of bad, dude? Yo, I'm like, kind of clapping this kid up, bro. To be honest, I don't know if I... That wasn't great. I died. You died? Oh yeah. my god, dude. I mean, I'm not gonna win this. Bro, you said it, bro. Use your game sense, bro. Adapt, bro. Adapt. Yeah, I'm struggling a bit to do that right now, bro. Okay, this is my chance. This is my chance. This is my chance. I did it, bro! While we didn't win the final battle, I still taught Bacon a bunch of useful tricks. And subscribe if you enjoyed this video so you'll be notified when the next one comes out. Thanks for watching.